Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, bienvenue dans notre leçon du jour, leçon de grammaire. On va expliquer aujourd'hui les articles en français, les articles. On a beaucoup d'articles, des articles définis, des articles indéfinis, des articles partitifs, les démonstratifs et les possessifs. Alors, on commence avec les articles définis. But let's compare it first uh, to English. In English, les articles définis, it's the, the, the word the in English. We use it to define words like the book, the books. It's not uh, uh, different between the singular and the plural. It's the same. So uh, the English definite article the never varies for number as you see et en français in french the definite article takes different forms according to gender gender here it means masculin ou féminin and number uh, singulier ou pluriel of the noun that it comes with so i'm giving you here some words for example the word bureau bureau it's office I, I wrote I wrote here le bureau the office le here it means the but le it's a specific word we use it uh, with the masculine singulier okay and la for le feminin singulier so we have le for the masculine and la for the feminine et l'apostrophe we, we use it for both Masculin ou féminin, singulier, that start with vowels, like A, E, I, O, U, uh, uh, et parfois le H. Les, we use l'article, the word les, we use it with the, uh, the words, the nouns, pluriel, masculin ou féminin, pluriel, as you see, les cafés, les librairies. Okay, let's move on. So, we have le, which means the, pour le masculin, singulier. La, pour le féminin. Et l'apostrophe, pour les voyelles, pour le masculin et le féminin, qui commence avec des voyelles A, E, I, O, U. H. Also, we have l'article pluriel, les, l'article défini uh, uh, qu'on utilise uh, pour le pluriel, les. Ok. Par exemple, le garçon, le garçon, ça veut dire the boy, la fille, la fille. The girl. So when you translate, you translate le and la into the. Et l'apostrophe, l'orange, l'orange, it's a singular word, starts with a vowel. And all plural words, all the plural nouns, we use, we use le for it as an article défini. Les enfants, les enfants, the children. Okay? The second kind of article, les articles indéfinis, uh, we used to compare first to English. In English, the singular indefinite article is un or an. You know that un for the uh, uh, singular that starts with a consonant, like book, a book. Uh, et article, article in English. It starts with a vowel, so we used an for it, a book, an article, and the plural we used to use some, some, which often uh, omitted in, in English. Et en français, the singular indefinite articles are three words, un for le masculin, une for uh, the feminine, or le féminin, 
and the plural in definite article is they they which means some in English okay which cannot be omitted unlike the English some in English uh, sometimes you can omit you can take the sum away but on français we used to say it you don't take it away for example un as you know un une des un une des les articles indéfinis prenons des exemples pour le masculin singulier « un » et pour le féminin singulier « une » et pour le pluriel « des » You need to take some examples. Crayon, stylo, livre They are three uh, masculine nouns, masculin, singulier. That's why we put « un » for it. Un crayon, un stylo, un livre. Ça va Une gomme, une règle. Une gomme, une règle. Des cahiers, des feutres. Ok Une gomme, feminine. Une règle, des cahiers. Cahiers avec S, plural noun. Des cahiers, des feutres. Alors, c'est clair Qu'est-ce que c'est? You've heard this question many times before. Oh, uh, in English, what's, the, what's it? What's this? What's that? We used to use the question, qu'est-ce que c'est? If you want to ask about something. Okay? In French, to answer the above question, qu'est-ce que c'est? Use c'est followed by a singular article and noun to identify people and objects. When I say c'est un bureau, c'est une bibliothèque, c'est un professeur, c'est une élève, c'est un garçon, c'est une fille. Now, you're uh, presenting, you identify people and objects using c'est un pour le masculin, c'est une pour le féminin. Um, pour le pluriel, d'habitude, uh, we use ce sont, followed by a plural, article and noun like when you say ce sont des bureaux ce sont des garçons ce sont des filles so you can use ce sont des pour le les choses et les personnes aussi ok third kind of article les articles partitifs les articles partitifs it's third Uh, it's another kind of article that we used to use it with the nouns, okay? I want just to remind you that the word article, it means a small words, we used to use it before the nouns, okay? And from these little words that we use it before the nouns, you will understand the gender and the number of the nouns, okay? When you see le before a noun, it means that this noun is singular, And also it's masculine when you see la it means it's singular and it's feminine and also un masculin singulier une masculin uh, sorry féminin singulier donc des articles des articles it's a small words a little words we use it before nouns okay and from this these words you will understand the gender and the number of these nouns. Okay, let's go back to the third kind. Des articles partitifs, des articles partitifs. We use it to uh, uh, understand the, uh, the word partitif from the word parti. Parti, it's a part. So partitive uh, from the word parts. So you don't talk about the whole kind, you're talking about a part of it, okay? or a, a quantity of it, or a, 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 a number of it, okay? So, the amount, uh, or the quantity, or the parts, 
we use des articles partitifs for that. We have four words, four little words. Du, pour le masculin singulier. De la, de la, pour le féminin singulier. D'elle, de l'apostrophe. Pour le masculin ou le féminin. That starts with uh, voyelle, as you know. D pour le pluriel. Note, on met de l'apostrophe devant les noms qui commencent par une euh, voyelle ou H muet, non aspiré. H, we consider it uh, uh, as a vowel. It's not a vowel, but we use it uh, uh, with the vowels. So, when you see a singular noun starts with H, so usually we use to uh, use de l'apostrophe for it. Okay? Je mange. I told you just right now that we use des articles partitifs avec des parties with the parts. Which kind of nouns uh, that we used to talk uh, about when you're talking about food and beverages, for example, you're not talking about the whole kind. You're talking about a part of it or a piece of it or a bit of it or a little bit of that kind. Okay, so the food and the beverages are uh, from the nouns that we use this article partitif for it. Je mange, je mange, when I'm eating, I'm eating not the whole kind, but a little bit of that kind, or a part of it, or some of it. For example, je mange hein, du gâteau, je mange du gâteau. I mean that I'm eating uh, a part of this uh, cake or a piece of it. Je mange du gâteau. Je mange de la pomme. Je mange de la pomme. I'm eating maybe a piece of it or a part or a slice of uh, this apple. Je mange de l'orangeade. De le Rangiade, it's an uh, orange juice, so uh, it's better saying je bois de l'orangeade. Et uh, as a plural noun, je mange des frites. Okay, fries. Je mange des frites. So, four words. Uh, they refer to the gender and the number. Uh, uh, du gâteau, masculin singulier. De la pomme, féminin singulier. Orangeade et des frites. Comparer. I'll give you three examples to better understand the uh, l'article, the concept, or the idea of des articles partitifs. Okay? That's one uh, piece or one piece of chocolate. J'ai un chocolat. J'ai un chocolat. Un here, the word un here, we define it as article or article indéfini comme en anglais. Because we can count this amount. Okay? You see, it's one piece of cake. So when you say, j'ai un chocolat, I have a piece of chocolate. Because you can count it. And here... You have a lot. So, you're going to say, J'ai des chocolats. J'ai des chocolats. Because you have many. Article indéfini comme en anglais. So, if you want to translate the first one, I have one chocolate or one piece of chocolate. J'ai des chocolats. I have some chocolates. What if you can't count? Or uh, you're talking about the quantity. Here, in the picture, l'enfant a du chocolat au visage. L'enfant a du chocolat au visage. He was playing with the, 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 the chocolate and then he spalted his face. L'article ici, c'est un article partitif. On peut pas, on peut pas le compter. We can't count uh, how many uh, pieces of chocolate he put on his face 
or he didn't eat okay so if you're talking about a singular you're using a or une if you're talking about many you're using the if you're talking about the quantity or a part of that kind you're using des articles partitifs okay c'est compris Alors, qu'est-ce qu'un article partitif If you want to define the word article partitif, c'est un article qu'on met quand il s'agit d'une partie de quelque chose ou de quelque chose qui n'est pas quantifiable. I'm talking here about a kind of article that we use it with the parts or things that we can't count. Okay? In English, we omit usually l'article. Uh, exemple en français when I'm saying vous prenez du lait vous prenez du lait du light milk you want to take it est-ce que vous avez du jus d'orange est-ce que vous avez du jus d'orange you have any orange juice do you have any or some orange juice ok when you translate watch out uh, for this article partitive when you translate it you're talking about uh, uh, some or any or a part of uh, the kind rappel très important l'article indéfini et l'article partitif de we change them into de dans une phrase négative ok don't forget that des articles indéfinis a une d et les articles Et les articles partitifs du de là de l'apostrophe D, we used to change them into the in the negative form. And don't forget this when you answer the negative questions. When I'm saying, j'ai du temps, I have some time. J'ai du temps, if you want to say, I don't have any time to, to lose. Je n'ai pas de temps à perdre. Je n'ai pas de temps à perdre, I don't have any time to lose. J'ai du, du here. You changed into the in the negative form. Another example. J'ai un livre. I have a book. Je n'ai pas de livre. Also, l'article indéfini. Here, we change it into the à la forme négative. C'est clair? Les articles contractés. The word contraction in English it means uh, uh, we have uh, two words we join them together okay and we produced a new word if you have the preposition de with the l'article défini le don't forget to join them together and to make l'article contracté du okay and also La préposition de plus les, les font des. Des here, ok? Originally it was de plus le de. The preposition de which means uh, from or about or from or about plus le. I want to say from the, from the or about the, ok? You're talking about something, you're coming from such a place okay you don't write you never write de plus le you write it du and also for the plural de you don't write it followed by les change them into they for example we don't say de le cinéma de le cinéma we used to say du cinéma du cinéma De la pharmacie, no problem with the l'article la, défini là, no problem for it. And l'apostrophe also, you can write it uh, after the preposition de. But for the plural here, you don't write uh, de les, you write it des. Okay? So, de le cinéma, c'est faux, it will be du cinéma. And also, de les, de les enfants, we don't write it that way, we write it, we used to write it. Uh, des enfants ok let's move on 
the possessive adjectives okay we're gonna compare it first with English and this is a very part a very important part uh, with the article we used to call it this adjective possessive but we consider it as the the determinant the, the determinant it means like uh, article small words we use it to uh, show the gender and the number of the nouns the singular forms of les, ar uh, les articles ou bien les adjectifs possessifs and the plural forms let's start with the word my my in english mon pour le masculin ma pour le féminin your ton ta his or her or its son sa notre our votre your leur their okay this is the singular form and for the plural form me my they your say his or her or its no vous no vous leur avec us okay again mon ma me ton ta te son sa c'est notre nous votre vous leur leur avec us okay les adjectifs possessifs again let's clarify this point pour le masculin on utilise mon ton son notre votre leur pour le pluriel on a me te se nous vous leur avec us pour le féminin ma ta sa watch this we will change them into mon ton son avant une voyelle ou h muet nous aspirer ok we will explain this now notre votre leur and pour le pluriel me te se nous vous leur avec us Okay, so revise with me. Mon, ton, son. We use them uh, uh, with the uh, uh, masculin singulier. Also, notre, votre, leur. Pour le féminin, ma, ta, sa. You change them. You have to change them into mon, ton, son. If the followed noun was, was starting with an, uh, a vowel or h muet. Okay, like when I say, I want to say my school. École, the word école, it's school en français. Uh, try to pick a uh, possessive adjective for it. So you want to say ma école. When you say ma école, say faux. That's wrong. But you, you, you was thinking right. École, it's a feminine and it's a singular noun. So if you want to say my school, you choose ma for it. Because you told me that ma... It's for the feminine and for the singular, okay? And the word ikol, it's a feminine and a singular noun. So why we can't use ma for it, or ta for it, or sa for it, okay? Because the word ikol starts with a vowel. So you can't say ma ikol, si fu, ta ikol, it's wrong, sa ikol. So you want to change this? You have to change this into mon, mon école, ton école, son école. Okay? Ma, ta, sa. We use them for the feminine, the singular. Nouns, that starts with a consonant. Like when you say ma gomme, ma règle, ma trousse. But you don't use them with the singular uh, feminine nouns that starts with vowels. Okay? Let's have this example. C'est ma cassette. C'est ma cassette. Cassette here. It's a feminine word. Starts with a consonant. There's no problem to use ma for it. The word orange, it's a feminine also, but you can't say ta for it, so you will replace it by ton. Okay? Watch this. Ma cassette, ton orange. Ce sont leurs livres. Ce sont leurs livres. Ce sont leurs cassettes. Two plural words, masculin et féminin. We use the same article for them. Okay? 
Now let's move on the last kind of article, les adjectifs ou bien les articles démonstratifs. This or these in English. You wanna mention something? Ce, set, say. Three words, very important. They mean the. Say avec S, it means these. Okay? So first, let's begin with ce, it means this. Pour le masculin, singulier. Okay? Set, pour le féminin, singulier. And we have say, CES, we use it for the plural words. I want to say this boy, ce garçon, this girl, cette fille, these children, ces enfants. Okay? What about this one, set? And why we put it with the ce masculin? Okay? There is a, a reason here. Il s'agit de la prononciation. We can say ce followed by a vowel. It will be a problem when you pronounce ce followed by a vowel. So, uh, you need to uh, uh, put a consonant in between to separate the two sounds. So, that's why we use set with one T with the masculin singulier nous. Les nous masculin singulier. That starts with vowels like A, E, I, O, U. Or ash. Okay? What I'm saying, jeune, jeune homme, jeune homme, young man, this young man, ce jeune homme, cette jeune fille, that young girl, ces hommes, these men, ces jeunes filles, these young ladies or young girls, cet homme, the word homme, that's a masculine word, a masculine noun, uh, starts with ash. That's why we couldn't use ce for it. Set is a word, it's a kind of article that we use it with. Uh, uh, les, les singuliers qui commencent avec des voyelles ou ash muet. Okay? Here you have this page, it's in the, in the booklet. You will see that we gathered all kinds of articles as a, a quick revision. We have les articles définis, les articles indéfinis, les articles positifs, les articles démonstratifs et les articles partitifs. Uh, okay? And for each kind of article, we use a word for the masculine for the feminine for and for the plural for. For each kind, we have a usage. Les articles définis, it means the. Indéfini, without the. Possessive, my, your, his, her, as you know. Demonstrative, this or these. Partitive, a little bit of this kind, a part of it, a piece of it, some of it. Okay? So, this, this lesson is very important, this article, uh, because it's related to the nouns and the adjectives. When you're talking about a noun, you have to define and uh, to show that uh, uh, this noun is masculine or feminine, singular or plural. So, if you use the, uh, these uh, little words in a wrong way, you will describe the noun in a wrong way, then maybe you will have a problem in the A and a lot of grammar mistakes. Ok, mes élèves, on a fini maintenant. Don't forget to watch this video again to review the, the, les articles and also study hard 